With Amiibo support in Super Mario Maker, we get to see Mario take on new forms such as Link and the Wii Fit Trainer. But we can only expect there will be more Amiibo support for this game. So here are the top 10 characters that I want to see have Amiibo support in Super Mario Maker. Amiibo! At first, I was going to put Mario's brother Luigi, but that was a dead giveaway. And I started thinking that there's a better character that deserves this spot more. Why does the princess always got to get kidnapped, huh? She can save herself, as we've seen in this not so well-made game. And that's why she deserves redemption. Have the princess go on her own adventure for once. Break the stereotype. I'd put this one higher on the list if it weren't for the assumption that we're probably not going to get this little fella in Super Mario Maker. The Pokemon Amiibo haven't really saw use out of the Super Smash Bros. series. So, as cute as this little guy is, with you walking around in him with Pokemon Yellow, I just can't see this iconic Pokemon getting to be playable in Super Mario Maker. When people talk about Kid Icarus, they usually talk about the newer additions to the series, like Kid Icarus Uprising. They don't really think much back to the old 8-bit game, but I think that'd be a cool way to revive Pit in his 8-bit form. Just hit him in Mario Maker. I mean, he doesn't have the power of flight anyway. Now here's an odd one. How about Yoshi? It'd be interesting to see Yoshi riding on Yoshi, and don't make that sexual. Yoshi, of course, already has his own platformer, being Yoshi's Island, and I still think it'd be pretty interesting to see him in this new game. Seeing Yoshi take on new challenges that he could only do with Mario before is an interesting, yet awkward, addition. Now this one's gonna be a tie, because I couldn't decide between the badass bounty hunter, or the kid, or the squid. Samus is already a great platforming character. Seeing one of Nintendo's old retro characters take on levels from Mario is exactly what we need to see. That's what we saw with Link. As for the Inklings, they already have an 8-bit form, as we can see in the minigames from Splatoon. It'd be awesome to show off their classic 8-bit form in Mario. They already have jump animations and everything. How could you not include the hero of Dreamland, the pink puffball? He's one of the few perfect fits for the Mario universe. As long as Kirby doesn't get crazy and absorb all types of Mario enemies like Chain Chomps and Goombas, I think we'll be just fine. And you thought Pac-Man wasn't going to be on this list? He's the perfect character for Super Mario Maker, are you kidding me? Just put his classic 8-bit form on there and for his jump sound, give him the classic Waka Waka. Uh, go ahead and put your finger in your ear right now and just wiggle it. Yeah, that noise. Poor Bowser. Always getting picked on, always getting killed. Why can't he be the hero for once? Or platformer, if you want to put it that way. Simple enough, make the villain the hero. It's the easiest, but the awesomest idea. Mega Man is an addition that needs to be in Super Mario Maker. Mega Man is like the perfect platformer to bring over from another series. He has perfect jumps, he has like perfect noises and everything. They could implement Mega Man into Super Mario Maker so well. And he's like one of the big time platformers too, so seeing him in another platforming game would just be awesome. Well Mega Man is like the biggest rival to Mario, right? So why is he number two? Well, I think you're forgetting somebody. THE CHAMPION IS! Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. The biggest rival to Mario, the Blue Blur. While technically 16-bit, I'm sure they can make an exception, right? Sega and Nintendo butt heads when it comes to platformers. Both Sonic and Mario are great platforming games, and seeing a character from one game merge with the other is definitely a sight that needs to be seen. It's kinda like when you first saw Sonic in Smash Bros. You were shocked, right? That's the same feeling here, but he's back in his home game for platforms. And that's why Sonic makes number one on this list.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. And if you'd like to see more top 10 for Amiibo and other stuff, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already.